Welcome to this third video in our jewellery making series showing you all the basic techniques you need to start making your own unique and stylish pieces of jewellery using the Cousin Jewellery range. In this video we are going to see how you can use crimp beads to hold beads in place to create a floating style and create loops to attach findings to. A crimp bead is a small cylindrical bead which is set in place by squeezing tightly with flat nose pliers. To create this delicate necklace, cut a piece of beading wire to the length you require, allowing 10 to 15 centimetres either side to work with. Thread on a crimp bead and feed the wire back through to create a small loop. Set the crimp in place. Trim away the excess wire with flush cutters, thread on a melon bead and set in place with a further crimp bead. Set another crimp in place a couple of centimetres from the melon bead and thread on a pattern of five beads. Hold in place by setting a second crimp tight up to the beads. Repeat a couple of centimetres down the wire with three coordinating beads. Continue this pattern until the necklace is the length required, ending with a five bead section. Now thread on a crimp and a melon bead and leave loose. Add a final crimp bead and thread the wire back through to form a small loop. Crimp this bead to hold the loop in place. Trim excess wire as at the beginning of the piece and move the melon bead to the crimp. Hold in place by setting the loose crimp tightly up to the bead. Complete the necklace by adding a further magnetic clasp using jump rings. To extend this technique further, why not add more layers of beaded wire by decorating longer or shorter lengths to give a more elaborate design. The Cousin Jewellery range is available from selected Ducroft stockists near you. For more information and details of the stockists in your area, visit ducrafts.com.